Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show how do we call an integration inside the process in Oracle process automation. So guys, before we get into the detail, how do we call it and why do we need to call it? I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel. If you have not subscribed it and click on the bell icon to get regular updates of my channel. Let's get started and let us see how do we call an integration inside a process. Let us understand the requirement first. So let's suppose you are, you are, you are initiating a process. When you initiate the process, you need to get the manager of the initiator. You have written an integration where you pass the user and then you get the manager. So you need to call that integration inside the process so that you can get the manager and then you can assign the task to that manager dynamically. So let's start and see how do we call integration inside the process. So for that, I already have created an integration called cat manager email where if I click here, All right, let me refresh it. Let it refresh and then I will show you. Okay, let's suppose to run. <clears throat> let's suppose I am passing a, if a user ABC and then run, it will give me the work email ABC of the manager. So let's say, how do I call this integration from my process? So go to the process application and open your process. So before I open a process, I have to connect this integration inside my process. And that's where you have to add a integration connector. So click on this integration connector and it will show you all the available activated REST API inside your integration click on this get manager email and then create that's it that is the only step that you have to follow to connect your process with integration now let's get started and see how this can be called so when you create okay so here you can see as of now we don't have a one one more uh, group called integration so let me switch to some other component and come back here and then you will see the integration as well. Okay, it's not, so let me refresh it. So here you can see the integration. So inside that integration, let's use that cat manager email, double click here. And then you have to tell which resource you want to call slash manager and what is the operation, which is cat. Fine. Now here, click here and then you have to pass the user. So you have to write click here and then click on open data association to map the initiator to the input of this API. So click here. And here under predefined variable, click here. You see the creator name. Creator name is your initiator ID. So go to user and then let's say create a name. Under output here you can see we have the output, we have the work email that I can map to some input. So let me do one thing. Let me go back to my UI and let me create one element, hidden element here so that I can assign that hidden element to my task. Let's say double click here. Let's say manager. Let's say manager. And I can make it hidden. Click here. Let's say hidden. That's fine. Let's go back to your process. And let's click here. Open data association. Go to the output. Input. And here you see the manager. And then let's assign the work email here. And then let me see input is also assigned or not. 
Yes, and then apply. Now I will have the manager in the manager. Now you can click on this user task. And here you can say not current lane participants. What you can do, you can say individual assignee plus under expression, you can say input dot role access form dot your where is the manager here is the manager now the manager will be assigned and click on the plus button and here we go now let's activate let's say override because my process is already activated let me take a snapshot and then it will override and then it will activate my process activating version okay activated and let's click on test in workspace and let's test the process so this is my role provisioning let's say anchor choose application which is oracle fusion access type is admin access and date is let's say 18 test user test and let's say submit Okay, you open the process and it will be assigned to me here. Okay, no, okay. Oh, it's faulted. Let's say where it is faulted. Okay, here you can see I received AJ, but it is filled somewhere. Because tracking, let's say fault. Okay, but that is fine. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. But here you see, I am able to call the API and I have received the work email AJ. So this is how you can call integration from process. Guys, I hope you find this video useful if yes please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon now to get regular update you can follow me linkedin on twitter instagram facebook and pinterest thanks for watching the video have a good day bye bye